Don't you hate it when you take your kids camping in a national park, but the lake is missing, and it's an early warning sign of an impending apocalypse that the Mayans predicted thousands of years ago? Your day just goes downhill from there. But in all seriousness, you may have recently received a chain email or seen posts on a forum discussing how the coronavirus is the fulfillment of a prophecy and the end of the world is near. Granted, that email came from your freaky great aunt, the one who believes that actors are sending her coded messages through the TV shows, so you're rather skeptical. But are the doomsayers right? Is it true that the coronavirus was prophesized? Are there any other ancient predictions that have come true? Yes, although it clearly depends on how much belief a person put into the teachings of a particular soothsayer or a religion. Some people have pointed to a passage in the Bible, 2 Chronicles 7, verse 13. God appears to King Solomon and tells him, When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among my people. This year, we have wildfires in Australia which raged for weeks before it rained. Currently, parts of the Middle East and East Africa are struggling with huge locust swarms, and the COVID-19 pandemic is affecting people worldwide. The next verse calls for people to seek God and turn from their wicked ways for God to heal their land. Other people point to Luke chapter 21 verses 9-11, through 11, which suggests the beginning of the end of times. When you hear of wars and uprisings, do not be frightened. These things must happen first, but the end will not come right away. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, famines, and pestilences in various places, and fearful events and great signs from heaven. Too non-specific? Perhaps. Some Christians find people pushing these theories problematic and fear-mongering. They point to the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 36, which says that only God himself knows the end of time. While it's not exactly an ancient prophecy in 2008, medium Sylvia Brown wrote a book called End of Days Predictions and Prophecies about the End of the World. Though Brown died in 2013, recently her book has become very popular. A rare hardcover version of it now sells for hundreds of dollars. Some celebrities have tweeted a screenshot of a passage from the book. In around 2020, a severe pneumonia-like illness will spread throughout the globe, attacking the lungs and bronchial tubes, and all known treatments, Brown wrote, almost more baffling than the illness will be in fact that it will suddenly vanish as quickly as it arrived, attack again 10 years later, and then vanish completely. Eerie. However, although there's no vaccine yet, medical professionals do know how to treat the coronavirus. Also, we'd like to point out that Sylvia Brown had a long history of being wrong about many predictions she made. Some of her predictions about missing children ended up causing needless further grief for their families. She even wrongly predicted her own death. She said she'd die at age 88, but was, well, a little off. She was actually 77 when she died. Other than COVID-19, there are many other historical predictions made regarding world events which are said to have come true. There are the predictions of French writer Michel de Nostradamus. You may have heard of him under the name Nostradamus, his more commonly known name. Nostradamus lived in the 16th century and in addition to being a writer was a physician, an astrologer, and allegedly a seer. His book Le Prophétie was first published in 1555, and it's a collection of 942 poetic quatrains. Those are four-line rhyming verses that are divided into chapters called centuries and are said to foretell future events. Email chains and memes referencing Nostradamus have been floating around the internet for some time, often enhanced in bad translations as well as faked poems of Nostradamus' original writing make his musings seem far more specific and accurate than they actually are. Most famously, Nostradamus was said to have predicted September 11th, but most of the quatrains being passed around aren't his original writing. We turn to Le Prophecy for the truth. In Century 1, Quatrain 87, Nostradamus wrote, Earth shaking fire from the center of the earth will cause tremors around the new city. Two great rocks will war for a long time. Then Arethusa will redden a new river. Some people take that to mean that 9-11 was either an inside job or that the US is at the center of the earth, aka the most powerful nation. Two great rocks, perhaps the US and Islamic terrorists, will fight long term. It's unclear how Arethusa, who was a Greek nymph, fits in, but Red in a New River may be a river of blood. People often mention a second verse, which also may predict 9-11. Century 6, Quatrain 97 says, At 45 degrees the sky will burn, fire to approach the great new city. In an instant, a great scattered flame will leap up, when one will want to demand proof of the Normans. New York lies at 40 degrees north latitude, and unfortunately a devastating fire was part of the aftermath of the Twin Towers attack. Proof of the Normans is puzzling, though. Nostradamus is said to have predicted several other world events such as the Great Fire of London. In Century 2, Quatrain 51, he wrote, 
The blood of the just will commit a fault at London, burnt through lightning of 23's the 6. The ancient lady will fall from her high place. Several of the same sect will be killed. The fault or accident was possibly a fire that started at a bakery owned by Thomas Foreigner in September of 1666. The fire soon spread and became a raging inferno which engulfed the whole city. It's estimated 70,000 inhabitants of London lost their homes. Three times 20 equals 60 and plus the 6 gets you 66 the year it happened. London could be described as an ancient lady. Then, as well as now, London was a bustling commercial metropolis with the busiest market and port in Britain. The fire devastated the city and it ended up being almost completely rebuilt. While only six people officially died in the fire, some historians argue that the deaths of lower class residents weren't recorded and probably several thousand died. Also, the intense heat of the fire may have cremated many victims, leaving little recognizable evidence between. On the other hand, same sect may not refer to citizens or a social class, but the fact that some Londoners blamed the conflagration on Catholics and the Dutch, mobs attacked and lynched members of these sects while the city still smoldered. Another event Nostradamus is said to have predicted is the French Revolution. In Century 1, Quatrain 24, he wrote, From the enslaved populace, songs, chants, and demands, while princes and lords are held captive in prisons. These will in the future by headless idiots be received as divine prayers. This one seems a little more specific. The French Revolution saw the overthrow of the monarchy and a new republic created. The lower class common people of France, known as the Third Estate, were poverty stricken and downtrodden by the First Estate, the clergy and the Second Estate French nobility and the elites. The Third Estate rose up and marched through the streets in several towns chanting their demands. In Paris, they ended up storming the Bastille. The mobs arrested and imprisoned many of the aristocracy, including the king, and introduced them to Madame Guillotine. Nostradamus also predicted the rise of Adolf Hitler. In Century 3, Quatrain 35, he wrote, From the very depths of the west of Europe, a young child will be born of poor people. He who by his tongue will seduce a great troop. His fame will increase toward the realm of the east. Believers often couple that quatrain with Century 2, Quatrain 24. Beasts ferocious from hunger will swim across rivers. The greater part of the region will be against the hister. The great one will cause it to be dragged in an iron cage when the German child will observe nothing. Now, Hitler experienced poverty while young and was even homeless for a while. He had a way with words. He was a great orator who was definitely able to seduce a great troop. He quickly rose to power and became the fascist chancellor, uniting most of Germany behind him. The beasts crossing the river are often considered to be Germany invading France and other countries in Europe. Hister could be Hitler, although it's thought Nostradamus was then using the Latin name for the Danube River. The last two verses could be referring to the censorship and blame of Germany by other countries after Hitler committed suicide. The rise of Hitler wasn't the only World War II event that Nostradamus seemingly predicted. The Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombing were allegedly described in Century 2, Quatrain 6. Near the gates and within two cities, there will be two scourges, the like of which was never seen. Famine within plague, people put out by steel, crying to the great immortal god for relief. The dropping of the atomic bombs on these two cities was a scourge which had never been seen before. The bombing caused widespread devastation, including food shortages and radiation poisoning for the citizens in the affected areas. Some of them definitely cried out to God for relief. In Century 1, Quatrain 26, Nostradamus may have predicted the death of President John Kennedy and also the death of his brother, presidential candidate Robert Kennedy. The great man will be struck down in the day by a thunderbolt, an evil deed foretold by the bearer of a petition. According to the prediction, another falls at nighttime, conflict at Rhymes, London, and pestilence in Tuscany. JFK, a well-respected president, was struck down by a gunshot on November 22, 1963, and it had a thunderbolt effect on society if not the whole world. Prior to his assassination, he received many death threats, petitions. RFK was a presidential frontrunner, and many felt that he was the heir to his brother's position. He was assassinated just after midnight at 12.15 a.m. on June 5, 1968. As for conflict and rhymes in other countries, the assassinations of the Kennedys caused a societal shift in America and also affected citizens in other countries. Last but not least, there are emails currently circulating that claim Nostradamus predicted the COVID-19 pandemic. Some point to Century 2 Quatrain 6, yes, the same verses that may have predicted the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That would be extremely upsetting because it means coronavirus is only the first of two scourges. Others point to Century 2 Quatrain 53. The great plague of the maritime city will not cease until there be avenged the death of the just blood, condemned for a price without crime, of the great lady unwronged by pretense. 
Wuhan isn't a maritime city, it's actually quite far inland and is landlocked. However, the origins of COVID-19 were traced to a seafood market. That's a stretch though, we'll report back to you if any other event happens that fulfills the rest of the verses. We began this video by joking about a Mayan prediction as interpreted by a Hollywood blockbuster. Actually, the Mayans never predicted the end of the world as December 21, 2012. Some researchers, psychics, and pop culture took a few facts of what the modern world has interpreted from ancient Mayan culture and ran with it. According to interpretations of some glyphs, the Mayan long count calendar started with creation on August 11, 3114 BCE or before current era in the Gregorian calendar, and ran a total of 13 baktuns or a cycle of 144,000 days that lasted a total of 5,125 years. The glyphs also indicated that some sort of event would happen at the end of the 13th cycle, which was 122112. There's a suggestion that a god or a collective totality of gods called Bologna Octe will descend. Unfortunately, the rest of the sentence is missing due to the glyph having deteriorated over time. Not much else has been found in the records regarding this prediction, so it's impossible to know what the ancient Mayans intended. Ultimately, what we're suggesting is that you shouldn't read too much into or worry about any particular predictions. People have made educated and uneducated guesses about the future. They have been inspired by religious ceremonies, societal problems fueled by sickness, drugs and liquor, allegedly communed with the dead, followed the whims of animals, and just about any other way you can think of to offer up a prediction of what tomorrow will bring. Don't let their guesses keep you awake at night. Take a deep breath and seek to enjoy your life now, living as best you can. And now that you've reached the end of our video, why not keep the watch party going? Did you know that Sir Isaac Newton once predicted the end of the world? Find out about his prediction here. Does the possibility of zombies running rampant keep you up at night? Check out our tips for surviving a zombie horde here. Whichever video you click, hopefully we can provide some insight on how to cope with an apocalypse.